Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for June 11th through the 18th. This is for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whatever. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, leave all your negative comments about another sign out of, out of my uh, feed below, otherwise it will be deleted and blocked. Because I don't have time for that shit. Um, we're going to get one of these and one of these. And if it flips over while we are shuffling, then we will show it to you now. Otherwise, we will reveal it at the end. This one came out, but it didn't flip over, so you're out of luck with that one. This is for the sign of Aries. Generally, my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. If you, if you hate people and you're not looking for love, then this reading is probably not for you. The sign of Aries, June 11th. Oh, you want to see it? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. What does Aries need to know? There's a lack of, of hope here. Somebody is losing hope. Are you losing hope that you've met the one, that you're going to find the one? Or are you losing hope in a current relationship? That could be the case. There's a lack of faith here. Discouraged. I'm discouraged. So this could be a week of discouragement. It's only one card. Let's see what happens. Oh, the truth. The truth. Realizing the truth. Accepting the truth. Seeing the truth. Waking up. I'm wide awake. I'm wide awake. <laughs> Ooh. Yikes, so this is definitely contradictory to that this could be the one, huh? Maybe you have to let someone go so that this one can come into your life. You never know. This two of cups is incompatibility, disharmony, imbalance within a relationship. You could be losing friends at this time. Part This is a partnership that just isn't working out. But this is, re this is also releasing the past. If you think about Judgment Day, when you have Judgment Day, you go up to heaven, per se, or whatever you believe in, and you release the past, and, and you know, you go, over, you go over your life. So this is about releasing the past, accepting the truth of a situation, waking up. You may be receiving some sort of epiphany that changes your life. You know, and sometimes you have to go through that dark night of the soul moment. And sometimes you go through that dark night of the soul moment more than once in your lifetime. Okay? So some of you have lost faith and therefore you have to release this past to restore the faith in the future. Okay? You do. Anyhow. Yeah, somebody is feeling discontent in their love life. It's like, I'm, this is never going to happen. It's not. It's never going to happen. I'm going to be alone. I'm not meant to be with anybody. That could be the case for some of you. You may be feeling like, there, I don't, there's no hope. There's no hope. I'm, I'm destined to not be happy in a relationship. You may be thinking that way, okay? But the fact of the matter is, is that as soon as you release the past, things will change. You need to, you need to be practical here. Okay, you do. You have to be practical and you have to be devoted to forgiveness. You need to be devoted to moving on because the, the judgment card is also about forgiveness. Okay, you need to be devoted to... To having faith, 
okay? This is this was a card of devotion. It's a card of of um, practicality, being practical as well. It's also a card of being stable and secure. And you know, maybe at this time you're just working on your finances because you've lost faith in love. That could also be the case. Somebody is not mastering their emotions like they should be. You know, you're probably you're definitely feeling over emo, overly emotional this week. You may be even feeling ill. Okay. Because it feels like there is a lack of uh, happiness in the arena of the affairs of love, okay? There's a lack of love in your life. You're not feeling loved. You're feeling really alone in love. And you're probably feeling like right now that you can't really be emotionally available to anybody because... If you do, you're just going to be taken advantage of. You're, you're feeling like you don't want to be taken advantage of, and I'm afraid. And I think there's a lot of fears here. There's fears of falling in love, and it not turning out to be what you really want it to be. You know, there's a there's a you're discouraged, discouraged in love. Okay, and that's what this week it appears to be interesting now you have to make the clear decision and maybe that's what you're doing maybe that's not what you're doing I don't know but if you want to restore your faith or restore what's been lost within you you have to make that decision to do so if you're looking for happily ever after you have to free yourself free yourself from the past constraints Accept the truth of whatever the situation is and let this awakening happen that is really happening within you. That's what's happening. You are going through an awakening. And like I said, the dark night of the soul, that came up for a minute, uh, mo uh, a reason. It came up for a reason. Many of you are going through a dark night of the soul moment right now and you've lost your faith, you're discouraged, you're feeling insecure in love. You're feeling like it's never going to happen. It's never going to be what I want it to be. Therefore, you have become emotionally unavailable to everybody in your circle. That's what it looks like to me. It's like, no, I can't see anything but discouragement and, and sadness at this time. But you have the ability to restore the control if you can make that decision to do so. Okay? You have a potential for happily ever after. Probably with somebody you know. You might not even know who this person is. You probably know them as an acquaintance because it says you've already met. This could be somebody from a past life as well. Just keep that in mind. You know this person that you could have happily ever after with. Whether you've been with them before or not, you know. But right now, you just aren't emotionally available to even let them into your life. Right now, you're going through a you know, a dark night of the soul moment, okay? And I feel like you just can't accept love at all right now. You probably feel like you're not compatible with anybody. You know, some of you, not all of you will, will resonate with this reading. Generally, the readings um, resonate with people that watch me the most and people that are drawn, you know, people that are drawn specifically. So it couldn't, I mean, whatever. Anyhow, um, somebody is about to restore control, take back control of their emotions and work on, you know, be practical, be responsible, take the, take the lead in their own lives. They have to be decisive. You have to be decisive and make the decision. Do you want love? Right now, some of you just don't even want it. You're probably just focusing on your career, focusing on your job. You're not giving any effort to love. So how can you expect love to come into your life and be a, or even if you're with a partner, to to be fulfilling and happy if you don't give it energy, if you don't give it time? So some of you have no desire to put love as your number one bullet. Okay, so that's what I see so far. But there is a, an ability for happily ever after, for happiness, if you would decide to make that number one. 
interesting. What else does Aries need to know? Yeah. Work, 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 okay? Yeah. The bank account's looking good, right? But it's causing problems. <laughs> okay? So, you know, you... Somebody, well, if you're in a relationship, somebody could be thinking about walking away from you because you don't have time. I don't have time. If you don't have time for me, then I don't have time for you. It's a protection tactic. I've, I've been hurt. I've been hurt and I'm protecting my heart. by burying myself in my job, in my work. I will protect my broken heart by not giving love a chance. Some of you are just working on your own independence, working on yourselves, working on your own abundance, taking care of business, not wanting love to come in and complicate things. Afraid of being robbed, afraid of being cheated, afraid of being lied to. The past deception and rejection is holding you back from a happy partnership, a happy loving partnership. You're reluctant to see a new approach. You're reluctant to let go of the hurt. Why? It's time to enjoy life as it is. Be happy. Make the solid decision to feel abundant with all the lessons you have learned, even if they hurt. Be careful. Be careful. You're only hurting yourself more. And you're losing opportunities in love by not seeing a new approach. By not being grateful for what you've experienced. There were lessons you needed to learn. Chalk it up to that. Stop thinking about it. Accept the truth of this situation. Release the past. Release the past. <laughs> oh my God. You guys have been so betrayed and hurt and stabbed by somebody from your past that now you can't see the world through positive light. It's like, no, I have nothing good to say about love whatsoever. And this is going to resonate with not everybody, but for some of you. Somebody has nothing good to say about love, doesn't want to be involved, is scared to death of getting their heart broke again. And that is for somebody that's watching this. But there is somebody from your past That could be the one, I have to tell you. Okay. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, another fire sign. Or it could be somebody and completely new. Could be somebody from a past life. Could This could be the one. This could be somebody you feel so familiar with, like you've known them before. Okay. So, it feels as though you do have a new opportunity for love. 
but you can't see it because you're not willing to let it into your life. Somebody in this dynamic has a self-image problem. Is that you? Do you feel you're not worthy? You feel you're not good enough? And it's affecting your relationships? You guys are confused and you're full of indecision in regards to love. It's time to make that decision and come out of this darkness and restore the faith that's been lost. It's time to bring back your confidence, bring back your courage and find the strength within you to prevail. You are strong. One more. Oh, son of a bitch. But you're feeling pretty damn weak, aren't you? I should never pulled that card. I just got done saying you are strong. This right here is represented by the Leo, okay, which is this. So you do have it within you. But this is a week of feeling weak. It's a week of feeling discouraged. It's a week, you've been discouraged. You've been, um, you've been going through, a, you've been having a lot of doubt. But you have it in you to regain the strength that has been taken away. You do, they're touching. It's time to let go of this weakness. Let go of this doubt. The Five of Cups reversed. Those are all thoughts within you. Restrain yourself from thinking negatively. You've been thinking. It's, it's a thought process. Change your thoughts. Change your life. So Aries... I feel as though there could be a new opportunity in love, whether it's with somebody from your past or somebody new, that you are missing out on because of your previous hurts that you are still holding on to. On the bottom. The Queen of Wands reversed. <laughs> lack of confidence, lack of self-esteem, lack of self-worth, lack of energy, lack of passion. The wheel right underneath it. Good luck is on its way. A new chapter is waiting for you. A change of course is about to happen. Whatever is happening right now, dark night of the soul moment, is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. Trust me. This is all happening for a reason. Don't give up. Change your thoughts. Change your life. This whole situation is destined to happen to change your life. Hard to believe, isn't it? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Faith! Love you, God. Yeah, we already talked. This is what this whole reading is about. <laughs> they, they do this for me every day. I'm not kidding. Restore your faith. Restore it. And your whole life is about to change. Talk to you later, Aries.